<laughs> Good day. We're going to talk about the Ombudsman real quick. And uh, human rights right to self-defense. And uh, utter in threats. Because this file 1614... 8655 deals with the way RCMP has dealt with me, the hospital system, social services, the way the laws work, uh, discrimination of uh, treatments under Article 5 and uh, 12 of the Charter, Declaration of Human Rights of the United Nations of the World, which Canada has signed in 1948, if you read the web pages and look it up on Wicca and all the other information. I uh, couldn't find this section... Uh, 72 of the Police Act, which doesn't exist in the Department of Justice website at all, that uh, Ombudsman can't to, uh, investigate the RCMP. It has to be a private organization. And uh, he doesn't give me a website to, to make a comment on only a 1-800 number, 665-6878, which is probably in an internal thing, being Surrey RCMP detachment and... Uh, that just doesn't make sense. They investigate themselves, period. I uh, sent them in all the violations of human rights, uh, men's health issues, what the, this uh, cruel treatment and punishment that the, the doctor came up with in uh, five minutes that I needed by his uh, own person belief or religion being psychiatry and uh, so forth. And uh, the harm of a, a manslaughter slash death sentence uh, drug does it's called Invaga Sustenin or Abilify, ADT drugs, or any type of drug that uh, messes up the frontal lobe, which erases the brain under the uh, synonym or the thorus of uh, killing or manslaughter in there, what it does. Taking away one's life by the definition of manslaughter that they had before. Anyhow, rights of self-defense. If you're being aggravated, assaulted, or assaulted, you have the right to say what consequences that that person might have done if you hit them back or the law might do to them, such as arrest them and put them in jail, or you might lose your job. That is, uh, not threaten you with your uh, job or your extinction. That's stating the facts that if uh, you don't back away and uh, cross this line in front of me and hit me again, I will hit you back because I have the right to do so. I also have the right under self-defense to hit back without telling you verbal command, telling you that I'm about to hit you if you keep coming towards me or just hit you already because that is your human right and right to self-defense in the world and in the country of Canada and North America, being the United States as well. And uh, that's the way it works. And you have the right to defend other people as well. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Freedom of speech, freedom of communication, and freedom from fear and everything else. Individual rights, and uh, that's right, equal rights only works if you and I, being male or female, are following the same equal laws. You steal, as a woman, you get charged with theft, being whatever value it is. Grand theft times whatever the number of grand it is, grand being 1,000. A cent, definition by French, is a hundred. Cent is one cent. One. One part of one dollar. Which it takes a hundred parts or units to make one dollar. Anyhow, like I said, right to self-defense is a, a verbal command, not uttering threats. When somebody has aggravated assaults you by torture, as the social service offices has done to me, and the ombudsman didn't want to do nothing about it, but charging me with uttering threats by giving a scenario. There you go. The right to self-defense, speaking up, and... Uh, Stating your case. Innocent till proven guilty since uh, Roman times and so forth. Human rights and laws violated. We're all equal. Doesn't matter if you're king to peasant, knight slash military or police officer. 
in this world, teacher, doctor, or lawyer, it doesn't give you the right to executing human beings because you're not a judge and jury and executioner in a country that doesn't have the death sentence at all, or to harm them and cause them Alzheimer's-like diseases, make them into transgenders, mess with genitals of a human being, male or female, taking away their reproduction system, taking away their tones of voices, making man not have a deep voice to a squeaky voice, and uh, putting excess fat on them so they have gynomasculus or man boobs, which they've done to me by drugs and medications that cause psychological harm because nobody wants to see man boobs on a man. Pectorials of muscle they can handle because that is natural and good to see on a body because we dream about it as a little boy having muscles on our body and having strength. Chemical warfare and medication in human bodies for lifetime under Section 12 of the Charter and Article 5, degradation of men and a cruel treatment of them and punishment because they're men and women want to prove a point and say we're discriminating against them and have torn apart every man's club in the last hundred years and now have their only women's only thing and are still discriminating to them. Period. They're dykes because... Uh, or gay lesbians because they don't like men. They might talk to them, but they don't like men. Do they intend to harm them, just like a gay man? Do they intend to harm women? Just like you don't like that race or that race. And segregation of poverty in this country and North America, United States and Mexico, for the poverty, just like the blacks, they can only afford to... Uh, live in one section, wherever the money they can afford to live in, being the lowest grade slum places they can possibly, or a room in somebody's house that they uh, don't have the same uh, renter's agreements or anything like that, that uh, they don't want to live by because uh, it's inadequate living. They want to live in a one or two bedroom place so uh, they can have a friend who stops by and stays there, have their room, their bed, separate living room from their cooking area and sleeping area because the bacteria is from food as well. Food safe, health and safety of people, and so forth. Anyhow, human rights violations out of the yin yang. And uh, who's in charge? Our own government from the top to the bottom. Every MLA is responsible for their actions of laws, human rights, and so forth. A protection of the people, just like the RCMP do crime prevention. Crime prevention is make sure people have an adequate lifestyle and uh, they don't steal and commit crimes on other people. Period. All drugs used to be readily available. Period as well. And uh, maybe should uh, be sold at pharmacies and... Uh, cold wine and beer stores, and stores again, because uh, all medications are originally made from these drugs and uh, synthesized in uh, chemicals rather than natural form as well. Just like prohibition as well. A controlled substance like money. Hey, get rid of Revenue Canada too. We only need to pay house taxes and goods and services taxes and... Uh, Throw away this paperwork of wasted paper that shows up every year and have to pay excess of money. And oh yeah, take CPP off and your medical thing as well. Because that's all you need. CPP slash pension, medical, off your paycheck, and the rest goes to you as well. Pay your house taxes, and every time you buy something, you're paying your taxes. Government doesn't need any more because we didn't have Revenue Canada 125 years ago either. A bunch of people sitting around making huge dollars and uh, who knows. We can only hire Canadian-born people and your parents Canadian-born as well to be uh, government, military, police, and teachers, doctors, and lawyers working in the best interests of our country and protecting the people. Protection. 
following laws, different codes. That goes for construction workers as well because building codes. So uh, we have a safe environment around and all have to make a decent fair wage for our education. Teacher makes $80,000 a year. A construction worker, journeyman, makes $80,000 year, a year as well. Just like a private makes 50000 around as well. But a constable makes about eighty. we we're told. Unfair, isn't it? Private, constable, same wage. And uh, they need more too, don't they? Because house inflation in 20 years has gone up uh, 200000 plus. And in Vancouver, for a little uh, one-bedroom house that uh, has about... Uh, 600 square feet, $2.4 million is a little ridiculous completely, period. We got lots of land and uh, to live on, but uh, limited resources such as coal, trees, and uh, gasoline and oil, period. Shouldn't they be $5 a liter for gasoline then if inflation for a house is that much? No difference in... Uh, clean, untainted water. And hydro? Hydro plants are the only way to go because wind power, the wind's not always blowing. Same with the solar panels and uh, batteries die off. Interesting concept, just like electric cars are always breaking down and little scooters because the batteries are always breaking down. Useless machinery created over and over again. So uh, people have to replace them every few years, just like a cell phone. Useless. Computer as well. $3,000 machine replaced every two years or year, so you can uh, buy a new video game because you can't play it because the video card, the memory, and the CPU doesn't work anymore. Human rights violations causing financial harm to people like family violence and, uh, like I said, family violence. Psychological torture, abuse, financial harm, harming the genitals of a male or female, and physical abuse, and more. Department of Justice, Human Rights Charter, United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. Have a good day. And that's right, Almondsman seems like a useless system as well.